Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, there's going to be changes to uh, the way that printer drivers are going to be installed and updated in the next few years and this is to make sure that printers work all the time and don't have too many problems. So right now when you actually install a printer in Windows 10, Windows 11, very often there's third-party drivers that can come through Windows Update. So in the Windows Update, the printers that are installed uh, will show up and they will actually have third-party drivers sometimes that will accompany them or they will install part of the driver. And what's going to happen then is that it's going to ask you to go and check out the rest of the software for the printer drivers. So, for example, that's pretty much the way it installed my Epson E3 2750. Now, one of the interesting uh, things that's going to happen uh, with the printer drivers, and it's the change that they're announcing this month, will actually have a rollout until 2027. Starting in 2025, new printer drivers will be published to Windows Update. And... Even though uh, no new, sorry, printer drivers will be published on Windows Update. What is going to happen is that printer drivers, and there will be what we call Windows IPP inbox class drivers, which is a basic driver that actually does everything that can be compatible with all the printers. So if you have a USB printer, if you have a um, network printer, there's a category of, we could say, kind of do-it-all printer drivers that will actually make your printer work, which means no new printer drivers on Windows Update and um, technically no need to really download anything else for your printers to work in the future. Um, once again, this is to make sure that everything works well. No more a million different drivers and software and all the crap that sometimes makes things worse. And this will be helped with a series of apps also in the Microsoft Store that could add compatibility and, and features to the print driver. But all of that will be done using these um, Windows in-class IPP drivers that will be compatible with all manufacturers because they'll have to comply with the compatibility of this uh, these drivers in the future now that doesn't mean that you won't have any um, more drivers what's gonna happen is that if you have a printer that you purchase yes there will still be if you wish to use them uh, drivers available in the manufacturer's website with all sorts of software. And this will, of course, still work, and you'll still be able to install the drivers in that way. And in some cases, it's not impossible that you might still need that for specific features of the printers that you're using. But by making this change, it's also making a change in security because by not having to deal with you know security updates of the different printer drivers, um, here we're just going to have all the printers and multifunction printers with, that have you know fax, scan, print functionality work with IPP drivers. So this should technically make things simpler. It will be a much more plug-and-play experience, meaning that when you plug in the printer, it's just going to work out of the box, and they won't need to have any specific or downloads that you need to install all the time. Plus, Microsoft won't have to deal with all of these drivers and extra third-party drivers through Windows updates. So uh, it's announced this month, September. It's going to start rolling out in 2025. And existing printer drivers that are through Windows Update in 2025 will still be updated, but new printers 
will actually not have these new third-party drivers through Windows Update. And then, of course, 2026, printer driver ranking order will be modified to always prefer the Windows IPP inbox class driver. And in 2027, uh, except for security-related fixes, third-party drivers updates will no longer be allowed in any printer. So um, hopefully this is going to make for a easy transition and a better future for printer compatibility and, you know, avoid problems, of course. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.